Darren, that's the first defeat of pre-season. How, how do you assess that one? Yeah, disappointing, really. Um, not so much the result. You know, I didn't get. I, I ain't getting carried away with with the wins, and I ain't getting. I ain't going to be too despondent with with a defeat. It was it was the performance I'm looking for, and the energy levels. And I just said to him in there, it's there's a very fine line for me in in football when. When you pass the ball, you've got to pass it with a purpose. And I think for the, for the first half, we passed the ball with a purpose. Um, second half, it was more passing the ball for the sake of it. Um, and that comes down to work rate, and that comes down to willing to be uh, unselfish with your movement and you're running off the ball. And we just went a little bit flat in the second half, so that was, a, that was disappointing for us. Um, you know, we've we've just spoken there. It's we didn't get carried away on Tuesday. We're not going to be too down with it today. But we all agree that the performance was below our capabilities today. At this stage of pre-season now, how much are you sort of looking forward to start to look at personnel when it's your team rather than just getting the fitness back? Yeah, I mean, we've we've tried to share the minutes um, and get everyone in the same sort of area um, of, of fitness. But you know, we've only. You know, two or three games left before we start. I'll start really sort of focusing on the 16, maybe 18 that I believe I'm going to work with. Um, still working very hard to to get uh, the, the, the right personnel in. I've got one or two that I'm hopeful that will happen, which will make us better and give us other options. But yeah, I mean, it's getting close now, so we're going to start really focusing on, on, on the group that I'm going to be using. I keep having to ask you now about injuries. We've had a couple come off today, Efron and Jack Taylor. Is there any update on how they're getting on? Efron just took a dead leg um, and it just wouldn't loosen up. Uh, so he's come off. Dead legs normally take a few days to settle down, so he'll be fine. And Jack just felt his left thigh a little bit. And it's, it's precaution. They'll they're, they're both be fine. It's just, unfortunately, it's two more little niggles that I could do without. We've obviously the couple that we've picked up already. Do you feel that your boys can learn a lot from this rather than just cruising through pre-season? We've played a, we've played a good side out there in Peterborough and they've really put us to the test. Oh, and, you're, and you're right You're right to say that. They're a good side. They're, they're, they've spent a lot of money put in some good players and they're going to be a very good side in League One. One of the ones that will be there or thereabouts at the end of their season. So we have played a very good team today. Um, but we performed well in the first half not as well as I'd liked but we performed well enough there was a, there was a purpose about what we was doing uh, second half they were better than us there's no doubt about that um, and, and it's just given us something to think about and it just shows that we still got work to be done but that's fine you know it's not it's not negative I'm disappointed uh, with the result but you know the fitness and, and, and what we can take and learn from today could be crucial going forward.